Organizers say the local Free Palestine movement is growing months out from the October 7th Hamas attack. Our Sophia Thomas learned more at today's rally in Burlington. On one of the coldest days of this winter, hundreds are gathered here behind me at City Hall in Burlington calling for a ceasefire in Gaza. Free, free Under clouds of breath in the chilly air, protesters chanted for a free Palestine, condemning U.S. aid to Israel and Burlington City Council's recent standstill on the ceasefire resolution. <laughs> There were old and new faces in the crowd. It was University of Vermont freshman Lily Patton's first Free Palestine rally. I think it was time I step in and also support it. Burlington resident Emma Corey came with her daughter and her friends. Corey says she wanted to go beyond simply discussing the conflict. There's a lot of talk about what's happening and awareness, um, but I don't feel like there's as much of a push as there should be and really us putting our physical bodies out there on the line to support the community. Over three months since Hamas attacked Israel, local organizers say the Free Palestine movement is growing. Wafiq Fawar with Vermonters for Justice in Palestine is the backbone of the local movement. He's noticed more people getting involved and educating themselves since the initial attack. Our movement in Burlington here is in hundreds and hundreds. And we hear from many people and quarters and organizations that for the longest time we never heard from. Fawar hopes people think beyond the rally writing the representatives and boycotting companies that support Israel. The rally ended with a march past TD Bank under fire for holding millions in stocks in General Dynamics, an aerospace and weapons company supplying Israel's army. Organizers say next up is a rally on Monday to protest Burlington City Council's blocking of what organizers call an anti-apartheid community petition. Reporting in Burlington, Sophia Thomas, Channel 3 News.